as we just saw, to use a namespaced element, you have to include the full namespace. If this is quite long though, this can make your code more difficult to read. To help us make our code clearer, we can import a namespaced element into the current namespace using the use operator. For example, once we've required the file containing the item class we created earlier, we add the use operator, followed by the name of the class, including its full namespace. We can now refer to the item class without using the namespace. So when we create a new object, we can just put new item. This is similar to a shortcut or symbolic link to a file. And when we run this, it still works. We get an object of the item class and the object is still in its namespace. However, our code is much clearer. It's important to note that although we say the use operator imports a namespace element, it doesn't include it. We still have to include or require it if it's in a separate file. As for importing constants and functions, we use the use operator in a similar way. Here we have a file called functions.php that contains a constant called max and a function called say hello which just prints out a message. Both of these elements are in the app utils namespace. In our example.php script, first let's require this file. Then to import the constant, we use the use operator with const, followed by the name of the constant with its full namespace. To import the function, we do the same but with the function keyword, followed by the name of the function with its full namespace. Then, at the end, this lets us refer to the constant without its namespace, and also the function. This will print out the value of the constant and execute the function. And when we run this code, that's what we see.